Hi, Brenton here from Effortless Swimming. Welcome to Feedback Friday number 20, where each week we look at someone's stroke to help you better understand what we like to look for in the stroke and how we go about making those changes. So in this video, again, the quality is not great of the video, but uh, what I'd probably look at here with the swimmer is a look at the, the exit of the stroke. So how the hand is exiting at the back here. Now, probably one in three swimmers or almost half the swimmers that I work with can uh, change, can, you know, can make an adjustment with the back of their stroke. So this is a case of someone who's entering a little bit, sorry, exiting a little bit short. You can see how the elbow is just getting drawn out. The hand hasn't quite pushed back past the hip and he hasn't got this full tricep extension happening. So what that's leading to is being slightly too short out the front, so not getting enough length out the front of the stroke and uh, not maximizing the, the pull through at the back here. Now, like everything that we cover here, it's nuanced, it's individual. So when you look at this, it doesn't mean that this is something that you'll need to do. This is something that I see in one in three swimmers, maybe half swimmers, half the swimmers is, is a change in the back of the stroke. So um, you can, this is just an example of it. You can see how that arm's been drawn out. Now, if we look at someone who's exiting the water well, you can see here, this swimmer is uh, Solomon Wright. He won the Rottnest Channel Swim. He held 112s for, for 20K. So really experienced, very, very good swimmer. You can see how he's exiting the water here. So this arm's almost at a right angle at the back. Now, you see how his elbow exits here. The hand and the forearm is straight. And notice how it presses right back past his hip. And he gets that full tricep extension out the back there. So what we'd see if we were looking underwater at the other swimmer is we'd probably start to see the hand being drawn out about about here, maybe there. So be, be drawn out in that direction as opposed to finishing finishing the, uh, finishing the past the hip there. So that's uh, that's one thing that I'd probably look at with that swimmer there. So what, what we see uh, and what we wanna try and do is with the correct exit and extension out the back, it works alongside this extra reach out in front with the, the opposite arm. So when you exit well, it allows you to get a little bit more distance with each stroke. And you can see how well he's positioned here in the water. Very streamlined, you know, he's horizontal. There's very little extra drag that's being created there. And, uh, and that allows him to get that little bit of extra distance per stroke. So if you find that your stroke is very short, if you're taking 40, you know, 40, 45 strokes plus for a 50, this might be something that you'd, you'd wanna look at is the exit out of the water. Now we also see swimmers who exit too far back past the hip. So they push back so far that they get stuck, that arm struggles to come over the top comfortably. So we would look to shorten their stroke in that case. So again, it's individual and, uh, and there's nuances to it. So you know, what I normally recommend is there's, there's three things, or well, three ways that I normally can help people. Number one is through the online coaching membership and there's links below in the description. This is where people from all over the world will send me videos of their stroke. I'll do a full analysis, give them an action plan, some drills to follow um, and give them a way to help make those changes in their stroke. The other way is through clinics, which we run in Australia. So if you're, if you're in Australia or you're visiting, check out our freestyle clinics. Again, there's links below in the description. And the third way is through our camps. And we've just opened up a, uh, another camp in Thailand, which is uh, our Hell Week Swim Camp. So if you're, um, if you're a reasonably experienced swimmer or triathlete, um, that might be what you, um, what you might enjoy. So the Hell Week Swim Camp. So, uh, and we've also got the Hawaii Camp, which is an annual thing now. So they're the three ways that I can help swimmers that I can work with you. And uh, you know, if that's something that you think you need, if your stroke is sort of stuck or you've plateaued, then I'd recommend getting some, uh, some filming done, getting uh, an analysis and some coaching. Whether it's from me or from someone else, there's no better tool than actually seeing yourself swim and, uh, and even making that analysis yourself. Because if you've watched enough of these videos, you should have a relatively good idea of what you're doing and how you can go about making those changes. So um, that's what I'd recommend doing, even if it's with a, a camera phone, an iPhone, you can film from the side, you can film from the front and get a pretty good sense of, uh, of what you're doing and what you need to change. So thanks for watching. This is Feedback Friday number 20. See you next week with another Feedback Friday video. Thanks for watching.